Bolton, the defensive coordinator for Notre Dame, is not afraid to dial up some pressures. And you said it's Benjamin Morrison off the right side. He goes unblocked. The penetration initially kills the run. Howard Cross, this guy seems to be everywhere, tackle for loss. It's a big down for Central Michigan if you can somehow avoid a three and out to start the game on the road. It just, it's critical. Didn't get it done there. Irish get their first opportunity coming back the other way. This Kyrie from the 10, and he is stopped up right there at that spot. Second and two, bring Tobias Merriweather in motion, fake it to him, give the football right back to Estime. He goes up and over to pick up that first down. No different today. Jeremiah Love checks into the game at running back. Harvin looking deep, what's going on? Four plays, 91 yards, and the touchdown. Spencer Schrader now for the extra point, and that is good. Third and long, and Jeremiah Love checks in. Oh, third and nine. Hartman protected perfectly, now fires to the outside. It's Chris Tyree, and Tyree able to create some space to pick up that first down. The biggest mismatch in the game, Jack, is on the offense and defensive lines. And watch this protection by this Notre Dame offensive line. They're great individual protectors. They protect well as a unit. And Sam Hartman has so much poise and composure. He literally went through four guys in his protection before he found Tyree for the first down. Hartman back to the air. It's complete to Jaden Thomas. Hard to believe. Zero catches at NC State for Thomas. Four catches. Hartman. Three of four, 98 yards, and a touchdown. Hand it off. Straight up the middle with Jabron Payne. And Payne takes it inside the 40. Bring Audric Estime back into the game. Harvin gives him the football. Back up the middle. Estime lowering that shoulder into the secondary. He's going to pick up another first down on this drive. Trey Jones eventually... Football goes to Estime. Estime breaks the tackle and in for the touchdown. Tremendous blocks out front by Joe O and Pat Cooper. Ten plays, 75 yards. A little over five minutes melt off the clock. And Notre Dame back up seven. Motion loops into the backfield. They're going to give him the football. Trying to gain the edge and unable to. Great play man out there by Devante Jean-Baptiste. Career sacks help him with the pass rush game and the run game too. And he's starting to show up more and more for Notre Dame. He's big, 6'5". He's 260. He's long and he's very athletic. Maybe the most athletic defensive lineman Notre Dame has. Third and seven. 0 for 1 on third down so far. trying to release the football. I'm going to say it's incomplete. Know what plays they're going to run. They practice those plays all week long. they got a lot of backs to try to use them. Hartman looking got deep downfield and he has this Tyree who runs underneath of it and in for the touchdown goes Tyree. Can't throw it any better. Chris Tyree said, that's just who he is. We call him Steve, style with ease, talking about their quarterback in Sam Hartman. You see, Tobias Merriweather was the inside receiver, and he attracted the attention of the single high safety. Sam Hartman moved that safety with his eyes. He gets the isolation of Tyree on Stepney, lays the ball out there, no help over the top, perfect throw. Great job by Tyree running through it all by himself. Sam Hartman saw it, delivered a strike. Comes Spencer Schrader for the extra point. And we asked Audric Estime. Brad Student adding to that experience in the secondary. Football is loose and lucky just to dive on it once again. It's Thomas. 
Travis Harper. <laughs> a clean run at Bauer, and he stuck him. Wow. Right side of the screen here. There you see Harper. Look at the acceleration of the quarterback. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> Sam was bracing for the hit. Hartman, quick pass to the outside. It's Rico Flores. I knew they wanted to get him to football today after talking with the coaching staff yesterday. Another one of those true freshman wide receivers trying to get him caught up a bit. The start he's had. Doc, we've talked about how many running backs Notre Dame has. They've got a ton of receivers, too. You think about Jane Thomas. The first drive of this second half. Roderick Estime starts as the running back. Give goes to Estime. Been having all kinds of success so far. Up and over he goes and into the secondary. Out across the 45, Rocco Spindler out front leading the way. Notre Dame, look at Spindler here. He's pulling around. When in doubt, give the ball to number seven. He quiets the game down. Notre Dame has an advantage up front and taking advantage of it. The defense sees it as a play that's going to go to the perimeter of the offense. And here comes number seven. Right down the back of the center. It's a tough down for the defense. Estimate checks out. Bring in Jeremiah Love. Hartman, clean drop, protection's great, fires downfield, and that pass is caught by Jaden Thomas inside the five. First and goal, Notre Dame. You see the offensive line dominate the run game. Now they dominate in the pass protection game. Anytime you throw the ball deep down the field, it starts with those guys up front. The protection is clean. The deep post by the outside receiver, Jaden Thomas. Hartman, quarterback keeper, just going to try to go with the sneak and get it across for the touchdown. Sometimes just keep it easy. Before the half, Notre Dame comes out on their first possession. Good first drive for the Irish. Set up by that big catch by Jaden Thomas. Extra point. Dorian Price next to him, at running back. Hartman drops. Firing down the sideline. Has a wide receiver. Rico Flores with the grab. And Flores down to the 35. They've been clean all day long. And when he sees isolated coverage outside, that safety goes in the middle. The outside corner is going to be by himself. Excellent patience by Rico Flowers at the line of scrimmage. A big time release. He keeps the route tight, gives Sam Hartman plenty of room to throw the ball over. It's time from 50, Spencer Schrader. See that big leg of his once again, and he has it. Shake that baby in. Kicker, the coach is putting you out there for all these long kicks. Sometimes you want a couple layups. Schrader made that one look like a layup. Snap hold kick, clean operation. It's a big three point. Working inside. Man-to-man -man coverage outside. The coverage is winning on the back end. Baptiste and his defensive line buddies relentless in their pursuit of Bauer, forcing the high throw. Jake Walworth back on the punt, and Chris Tyree steps underneath it. From the 29, here goes Tyree, and takes it out to the 39-yard line. Yeah, that's just Steve's style and ease. You love that one, Jack. Steez, and he's been showing off some toughness, too, after he was spun around and now back into the game. Flips this one to Odd with Estime, and Estime with a nice cut, and Estime out across midfield. He stepped up to make the play. You see Moretti in the middle here, but there's also pressure off the edge. And they're going for this. Going fast. Here's Hartman up on the line. Hartman flips it out. And this is another completion to pick up that first down. It's Jaden Greathouse. Now Price checks in. That running back flip this ball to Jadarian Price. Breaks one tackle. Now Price steps on that gas pedal and takes it inside the 25 down to about the 21-yard line. Very similar play that we saw earlier with Estime, just a different formation. Four guys on the left-hand side of the formation. There's a bunch set. They block down on the bunch, they pull the tackle, they pull the guard, 
get people out in front. Jadarian Price, one of those running backs. You're up by 14 with just under 11 minutes to go. Getting points here is big. Third and eight, Hartman fires quickly to the outside. It's Jaden Thomas, and Thomas tried to break a tackle and extend for that first down, unable to. Dante Kent over there in coverage. Just drifting to the left, but through. But he has as good a feel throwing the ball down the field as I've seen in college football in a long, long time on display again today. Here goes Patrick <laughs> Estime right up the middle, hitting the Jets, taking it out to the 40. Hartman flips it out. Estime takes the pitch, then cuts it back up inside and crosses midfield. It's Justin Whiteside who tracked him down. Just so impressed the more I watch Audric Estime play. His vision and feel as a runner, combined with sneaky quickness and speed. Ray Cooper Flanagan in motion. Estime up the middle. One more hurdle for Estime. Now gas pedal inside the 10. He has got some speed. He's got some ups over Ricard that time. He's something else. And what a great feel. Oftentimes when you're a big back, these guys want to tackle you low. So you develop this ability to anticipate that and hurdle over him. Zeke Elliott used to do it with us in Dallas. Estime learning the skill. And that's a big man right there. He's north of 230 pounds to be able to do that. Third goal. Hartman to pass. Hartman looking for his tight end. Home stays. He's got another touchdown. Touchdown, Notre Dame. By number 13, pretty darn good. Schrader's extra point is good. Benjamin Morrison, as good a young corner as there is in college football, against Morgan Harrison Jr., who is just something else. Setting up the screen here, that's Devin Ford. It's nice just to see him back out there. He took that big hit on a kickoff return earlier in the season. First game back for him. Not many quarterbacks playing as well as Sam Hartman right now. They have different weapons at the receiver position, the running back position. So there's a lot for this Ohio State defense and this Ohio State team to deal with. It'll be a heck of a challenge for the Irish. Certainly we must see TV. Forty-one, seventeen. So a little test with that late drive by Central Michigan. Scored a touchdown right before halftime, and saw Marcus Raven fired up going in, letting the refs have it a little bit. And his team came out and responded in this second half in a big way. They sure did. They took care of business like they needed to today. Jim McElwain's got to feel good about him, how his team has performed. But through four weeks, Marcus Freeman has to feel great about the growth and development of his program at Notre Dame.